wait, wait, wait. This is not a Journal in Java episode. Let's start this again. Hey everyone, it's Job. Long time no see. It's been a hot minute since I've posted a video and I apologize. Also, this was supposed to be a Journal in Java episode as you can tell from the title and the, well not the title, the opening end screen no, opening end screen come on joe okay wow you can tell i have not filmed the video in the longest time and my mind is kind of jumbled right now but that's besides the point you're here to see the journal so um wait no okay let me talk about let, let me give you some context as to what's happening right now so as you can see there's a pretty cool microphone on the screen right now and this was supposed to be a journal in java episode but I made a ginormous mistake and I don't think I plugged in the mic to my camera. I'm so bad. Um, so I apologize. Um, that's user error on my part, but you'll never get to hear all of the cringy and possibly long-winded rambles that I probably, um, yeah, rambled on about in this video. So I guess I saved you an hour of your time. So this is going to be a typical journal with me and you can see my reflection on my phone which I'll have to blurb that out but as you can still see I will not see it's here basically I'm still rambling so I guess you get that aspect of a journal in Java video and I wanted to change things up and actually work in my vertical weekly insert in my Midori Traveler's Notebook um, I'm really behind on this insert and I thought it would be fun to chat with you all while um, journaling in this insert but I <laughs> lost all the the audio footage audio footage that doesn't make sense audio recordings there you go and as you can see I'm all caffeined up because I am speaking a million miles per hour but I thought I would show you uh, my process of actually working in this insert so um, I'm pretty behind but uh, as you can see I'm working on I think a week in January I think this is the week from January 22 to 28th so I'm pretty behind in this insert. And basically I have this phone app. It's called One Second Every Day and it's just a memory keeping tool in which you record one second every day. It's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, that was a project that I started this year and it's been such a great way to reflect on past memories. I have a pretty good memory, but sometimes there's some days that are just particularly not interesting and you kind of forget about those days. And One Second Every Day helps me keep track of those days and then I basically just look over the app and um, I refer to it when I'm working on journal spreads because it allows me to see uh, I guess a quick snapshot of that day and on the screen right now I am rambling about this cool ephemera holder that my friend Claire gave me uh, for my birthday it was a huge um, airmail package that she sent a few a few maybe days ago no probably by this time it would be a week ago and it's amazing i have a video that i filmed that will be an unboxing of that airmail package as well as a journal with me so look out for that but in this video i'm just showing you that one second every day app and i was just referring to it because i couldn't remember what happened on the saturday 27th of january so um i think i had korean fried chicken that day and as you can see i started working on this spread probably three weeks ago and then I stopped that's usually how I work in this insert I don't really force myself to finish the spread if I don't feel like it because I feel like it looks end up, ends up looking very contrived but as you can see I am holding one of my book favorites so I might as well tell you um, one of my book favorites for the month of February and that is A Little Life by Hanya Yanigahara I hope I didn't butcher her name and it's a beautiful book it is a very hard read so if you want to challenge yourself in terms of um, the reading and the reading material that you tackle on go check it out uh, just a fair warning though there's a lot of violence and abuse and I guess this is a trigger warning just to warn you that yeah, there are very sensitive topics um, that are discussed in the book. Go Google it um, if you want more information. Another book favorite is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Um, I'm halfway through. I'm currently listening to it uh, via audiobook instead of actually reading it because I've been finding that uh, I can squeeze in more reading if I'm actually listening to it. So when I'm working on journal spreads, I usually turn that on and I'm loving 
Ready Player One. I've had it on my list for a very long time, on my reading list, and now that the movie's coming, going to be released soon or coming out soon, I thought it would be the perfect time to read slash listen to it. And um, one of my tech favorites for this month is my new phone. It's the iPhone 10 or iPhone X. I know people hate it when I... Well, people hate it when you call it iPhone X, but here I am calling it that. And that spread is finished. I basically just use a whole bunch of ephemera to fill it up. And um, this spread, I'm just showing you the way that I work in this insert. So when I feel like going a little bit sticker crazy or ephemera crazy, I'll open this uh, notebook up and just put random stickers and washi tapes in there. And I'm not really serious about this insert in terms of um the subject matter or decorations matching what i did that day so i'll put a random sticker of a tory gate on that saturday um slot of this insert even though i didn't go to osaka or check out any tory gates that day and i am showing you another one of my stationary favorites which are these tearaway calendars i think in an earlier video i said that i haven't found any tearaway calendars and when it rains it pours because my friend zika she is my paper projects on instagram go check her out she has an amazing etsy store and she messaged me saying that she would like to send me one and that's so kind of her it was actually just supposed to be that tiny it might be danish or i don't know what language that is i should double check but she sent me that one and she sent me a Chinese one too. And my friend Claire also sent me one too. And you'll probably see that in the future unboxing that I just talked about. So I put that tearaway calendar sheet um, on the sun, no, the Monday slot. And as you can see, those tearaway calendar sheets are a lot tinier. They're actually amazing because they don't take up that much space in this journal spread, which is great. Um, another stationary favorite that I probably talked about um, a little bit well, I guess you can't hear it because the audio is gone, but it's those pencil covers that I were, that I was showing earlier. They're basically a way to keep a pointed um, tip on your pencils. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I've been carrying around those polychromos colored pencils or pencil crayons, and they always break the, the tips because I'm really rough with my pencil case and my bag. I just leave it anywhere or I'll put it down on the floor. Uh, not very gently. I know that's horrible, but um, yeah, that's one of my uh, stationary favorites. I ordered it, ordered it uh, on Amazon and I ordered it in December and it only arrived now. So I don't really suggest the seller that I purchased it from because it took a really long time. But I do love um, the way it protects my pencils. Um, as you can see, I used a whole bunch of washi tapes that came in a washi tape sample from my friend Ame and... I think she sent that a while back, but I thought I would use it. And this is the mini stationary unboxing or mini airmail unboxing. This is from my friend Zika. So she sent me those uh, tearaway calendar sheets because I haven't been finding them anywhere. Like I couldn't, I couldn't find them online. I couldn't find them in person. I even went to Chinatown, couldn't find anything. So I'm glad that I have these now. And obviously she had to spoil me and send me all of these amazing uh, stickers. So this one is a botanical, no, not botanical. This is a medical illustration sticker set. And this is like a label sticker set or airmail related sticker set. And then she sent me that dot grid insert, which is amazing. My camera was um, in and out because well, that doesn't make sense. Um, I guess the footage is coming in and out because I was running out of battery. So I apologize, but uh, yeah, these these stickers are amazing. They're really good quality. Go check out her Etsy store. I'll link that down below as well, as well as anyone that I mentioned in this video. So you can check out Ame, um, Claire, Zika. All of their links will be down in the description bar below. And one of my other stationary favorites are these journaling cards. And these are journaling cards that I created for International Women's Day. I really am pretty sad that I didn't get to get a video out regarding, well, regarding these uh, journaling cards i created them well in advance um for international women's day but i'll probably still be doing a journal with me using this spread i had an idea about creating a spread with um using polaroids and using these journal cards um as a background for um the photos that i want to take i want to take a picture of my um, older sister and my mother who are very positive female role models in my life they're very strong independent women 
and I love them for that. So I'll probably do a video on that soon. I'm just um, a little behind on videos and filming. The past few weeks have been crazy, but you've probably heard me ramble about that for a while. So I just adhere that you do you um, journaling card onto my spread. And I was going for a blue and green theme. But since I had those um, washi tapes down, I had to peel them off. And one of my random or skincare favorites is this beard brush from Zeus. You probably don't know, but I actually started growing a beard. It's kind of ridiculous. I never thought about growing a beard, but here I am. I have a, it's not a super long beard, but... Um, I do need a beard brush to keep it looking nice and tidy. So I purchased that um, off of Amazon. It's amazing. I'll leave it in the description bar below. And as you can see, I was going to type or not type, uh, script out the word Etsy, but I didn't really uh, plan it very well and I ran out of space. So I am covering it up, it up with this wood, wood grain pattern paper that was from um i think this is from michael's i bought this during christmas time and i hoarded this specific paper because i love the look of whitewashed hardwood flooring and i used another sticker that zika sent and i put that on the sunday portion of the spread and back to skincare favorites or random favorites i absolutely love the bohemian uh soap from lush that was the soap that i was waving around a few seconds earlier um i do suffer from chest acne that might be a tmi but oh i totally touched the <laughs> totally touched the microphone i'm not gonna edit that out maybe i will anyways um and i i love that soap it's been helping with my chest acne and I use it all over my body. I use it for my hands as well. It just smells so good. And it's great for people who love morning showers because that um, lemon scent just really wakes you up. So I highly suggest it. Um, now I am, it's weird because I'm going uh, back and forth with what I'm doing on the screen and the favorites. So I apologize if this video is very confusing. Um, but I adhered that um, postage stamp that's actually from India in that um, sticker that looks like a label and then I also put down that Australia stamp that Zika sent over and I believe it's a vintage stamp and on Wednesday 31st of January I believe I went in for a job interview that's why it says job even though it looks like I'm just writing my name out and then on the 1st of February I started that new job but I wanted to add a wax seal on the Tuesday portion of the spread because it was looking a little bit bare there. And I ended up choosing this silver colored wax instead of my signature red wax because there are a lot of cool tone colors uh, in this spread because there's a lot of blues and greens. So I thought I would go with that, um, that colorway. And if I sound super nasal, it's because I am. I'm, I got over my cold and um now i have a new cold which is horrible uh yeah i work with a lot of a lot of people who well that actually no that's a lie anyways i'll just move forward and not talk about that uh but anyways one of my tv slash movie favorites is altered carbon on uh netflix it's such a good uh tv show it is one season there are 10 episodes one episode is about an hour or 45 minutes and it is a very cyberpunk-esque uh, TV series. If you like Blade Runner or the newer Blade Runner 2049, go check it out. It follows the story of um, this one person who died and was brought back to life because a new technology called Stax um, has enabled people to live pretty much forever because your consciousness is, I guess, downloaded onto a stack or this... I guess brain or computer chip that is placed at the back of your neck and i don't want to spoil it so that's all i'll say and um back to the spread i pulled out my i i keep forgetting what type of ink that is it's the distress oxide ink and it's in the color way that is called fossilized amber there you go and i use my ink dabbing tool to dab that ink on and lastly, for music favorites, I'll just leave a, I guess I'll leave a playlist down below. But basically, I've been loving Ravina's No Better, Bad Boy by Red Velvet. I know that's a super bubblegum pop K-pop song, but I love it anyways. 
and B by my side by Crush and Bad Girl by Bumkey. And if I miss anything, just go check out that playlist that'll be down below. And this spread is pretty much complete. I just added a few more washi tape strips. That one that I just added onto the spread is from Camel Garden. And yeah, that's pretty much it for these two spreads. I'll put in the slow-mo detail shots right now of both spreads that I worked on. I hope you enjoyed this super random rambly video. There was a little bit of an unboxing. There was a little bit of an update of my life. Actually, no, I didn't really talk about what's been happening. I know that I've suggested or actually, no, I think I did say that I started a new job, but I started a new job. And then on March 1st, I started a new position. So everything has been going by so fast. So I'm still trying to get used to that work schedule, but I keep saying that I'm going to be posting more regularly, but I've been saying that since January, but um, I have a vacation coming up soon. So please um, stay tuned for more videos. And I apologize. I apologize so much for not um, replying to your wonderful comments. I feel really bad. I usually reply to everyone and I haven't replied to the comments from the previous video. So um, I'll be getting to those soon. And I don't know, it's just so nice to record a voiceover and just to ramble and catch up with you all. It feels so natural and I've missed, uh, I missed uh, partaking in this hobby. So thank you for sticking around even though I was away for a bit and I look forward to creating more videos that are fun and related to journaling. And I promise to get a new, uh, not well, I do promise to get a journal and Java episode up, but I also really want to get a copycat, ep copycat episode up. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta stop talking now. It is almost bedtime and I am way too energetic. So gotta calm myself down, but I'll see you all later. Oh my gosh. Um, oh wait, what's my, what is my, um, what do you call that? The goodbye sequence? No, um, end card. Oh, whatever. Okay, bye. <laughs>